Hey guys, it's Sam here today, and today we are going to go over my Sephora haul. And I'm going to call this probably the smallest Sephora haul ever because I really didn't feel like I needed a lot of things and I did not want to shop like crazy just for the sake of shopping. I feel like there are so many videos out there with like people buying two boxes worth of stuff. And like, although it's very exciting to see people spend money like that, it also kind of makes you kind of like jelly. And I don't know. I don't like how that feels. I'm like, oh, I want that. I want that. I feel the need to like buy everything that they're buying. Then I end up spending so much more money. And also I'm like, if I can't buy that, then I'm like, damn, I wish I had their wallet. And I don't. So I figured... I had a very small haul and I'm going to show you guys my small haul and maybe you could appreciate that and feel like you didn't need to spend that much money and it's okay that you didn't spend that much money and not everybody is spending that much money. So let's not delay this any further. Let's get started with the first thing which was free because October is my birthday month and I got my birthday present and of course I wanted the Olapex oily oilaplex how do you pronounce that oilaplex did i say that right little kit but it was already gone so i got the little nest set and it supposedly comes with a bunch of stuff it looks like let's open this up it has a small perfume and then a perfume oil and a mini candle so world's smallest little votive no this is cute little votive and it's the grapefruit scent, so let's smell it. Oh, that smells really good. I'm a big fan of the scent grapefruit. And that's probably the only fruit scent that I like, if I'm being honest. The little black votive, I don't know if I like that. I mean, it's good if it was Halloween, it was still October. But I like the smell of the candle a lot. So I'm curious if the perfume, I didn't even read to see what this is so the oil yeah the perfume oil is grapefruit is that what it is it's a yes it, it no it's orange seville orange it's a little rollerball smells very very good and then the nest perfume i have one of these um not the scent this is indigo and I didn't enjoy it because it smelled horrible on my skin. I am like tricky like that where something smells really bomb in the bottle. And then as soon as it touches my skin, it smells like a fart. But this actually, oh, this smells good on me. Oh, I'm very excited. Yeah, I can't remember what the other scent was. But as soon as I put it on my skin, it smelled it terrible. It smelled it. it smelled terrible. So I got rid of it. This one smells good. So this is a birth good birthday present. We're going to throw this out. All right. So that was my free little birthday present. Then I picked up the Great Skin from Merit. I really like this brand. And it came out with this oil. And I forget who did a video on it. But they were loving it. It's the Instant Glow Serum. And it has niacinamide, 2% niacinamide for brightening, four types of hyaluronic acid for deep hydration, caffeine-rich cacao seed extract for plumping, Japanese gold thread root for soothing antioxidant production, and pH balance for healthy skin barrier. So I picked this up, and this is what she looks like. I mean... Their packaging always looks so freaking luxe. You have to shake it up and you can see that it's separated. But let's see. Let's look. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty. Look at that. Let's see. Oh, and it has like a pump. Really cute packaging with the frosted glass. This is going to look so pretty on my dresser. You know, I use Nice and Mind all of the time, but I'm mad cheap. And the one from Beauty Bay, from like the Beauty Bay brand one, actually worked really, really well. It's Nice and Mind with copper, and I use that all of the time. And if you use that right before your makeup application, oh my God, like your pores are invisible. And it works so well, and it's a very low price. But I wanted to kind of spoil myself and do something a little bit fancier. So I picked this up and I'm not sad about it. 
I'm not sad about it. I also picked up Fashion Fair. This was a brand that I think was at Sephora a long time ago, and then they left. And then when they came back, everybody was talking about it. I know, like, uh, what's her name? Glam Girl Chelsea channel she did like a whole thing about them when they first came back to Sephora and I just wasn't interested in a lot of the stuff that they had but they came out with these new cheek duos and I picked up the one in Ridge Plum and I'm having trouble opening it but let's see oh my god and that nest smell is so good it's so so good I'm like loving that scent it smells like very like seductive but like not completely nighttime very very funny okay so let's get back to <laughs> what else i got oh it has like smears all over it i don't know if you can see that but hopefully the inside is not damaged i've had that happen before the packaging is really cute i don't know if you can see mm -hmm. light might be a little bright okay oh it's good it's good on the inside so this is the one that i got did I say what shade it was? It was the rich plum one. Because they had one with like an orange. And then they had another one. I don't remember. It was like pink and orange, I guess. This one I felt like was the most neutral, the safest one. It has a cream and then a powder and a little flap over the cream. Let's finger swatch. I wanted to try something that I felt like I could actually get used out of. So I'm trying to dig into the cream one it's not really picking up very easily okay there we go that cream one is a lot brighter than i had anticipated let's swatch it's kind of sheer though so like you can sheer it out but it's definitely deeper and then this is the powder yeah, so I'm excited to try that out. Maybe I'll try that in a video if you guys are interested in that. But I really just wanted to try something from the brand. And this was like the first thing that really got my attention. And then because Angelica Neefquist is a queen, she recommended this Huda Beauty Concealer. So I picked mine up in Praline 6.3 Neutral. I actually was, there was one that was like two shades down from this that I was thinking about getting. but then. I did a shade match thing and I recommended the shade. The shade just below this looked too dark for me. And even though the model wearing this shade looked close to me, I still was like, I wasn't entirely convinced. So I'm really curious to see um, the color on this. There it is. It's actually, I think it's doable. I was worried that it was going to be too dark. So I'm really excited to try this out. Yeah. yeah. I think it will work. It's not going to be like super brightening, but I actually don't prefer my, I prefer my concealer to not be brightening anyway. So this is really good. And if it's too dark, I just like rubbed it in and it blended into my skin. I could always use it for like spot concealing. So. There's that. So I also picked up this Kiali perfume, the Elixir number 11. I have collected most of them, not all of them. The apple one and the cherry one, I think I haven't purchased those because I'm not really into fruity scent. But I have been a really big fan of them. And I like that they come in these cute little bottles because I don't wear a ton of perfume that I feel like I go through bottles like that that I need to get like the big daddy of anything so I'm excited about this this one does say it has red apple rose de my absolute jasmine sunbok absolute vanilla and patchouli and this battle is so cute in the black so let's smell this I'm not gonna like I'm gonna put it on this hand because I already have the other one on the other hand see oh do you get the apple in the beginning but then oh you get that then you get that vanilla patchouli base and it smells really really good 
Oh, I cannot wait to wear this one. My husband's going to love that. And then I picked up these last two things. Last two things I picked up. The Gucci lipsticks. I picked up the Rouge de Beauté Brilliant to glow and care lip colors. I picked up Lucy Dark Orange and Jody Wild Mauve. And listen, if I'm going to spend money on bougie lipsticks, I'm going to get them on sale. And look at these, the packaging. So cute with the gold. One thing about Gucci lip products is they make you feel bougie when you're holding them, when you're using them. They feel luxe. They feel like it's worth the money that you spent on them. Because I've purchased other high-end love sticks and I just feel like sometimes the packaging is lacking and Gucci does not do that. So let's try these. Let's just watch them. I'm not going to try them on. Well, maybe let's try them on. Let me get up. Okay. First one we're going to try is Jody Wild Moth. Get a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Has a beautiful texture. That color is stunning. Builds up really, really nicely. I feel like you can do one swipe and get like a very thin, sheer veil. But as you can see, I built it up quite a bit. And look at this. Even it's a little silhouette without the freaking case over top. So, so cute. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Let's try on the dark orange. It's not going to go with my look. <laughs> but who cares? All right. So that was Jody. Now we're going to go into Miss Lucy. Miss Lucy. Oh, look how pretty. Look at that. It's just like a thin wash, but I can build that out. Oh, isn't that pretty? This is like a perfect little fall rustic color. I'm loving it. It's so comfortable. It feels like you're wearing like just lip balm on your lips. Beautiful. I'm so happy that I got these. And that's it. That's all I got in this big, dynamic, humongous, huge, massive Sephora haul. <laughs> so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a thumbs down and until next time love you guys bye